Hey guys, a quick snapshot reading for a secret querent. We are uh, going to extract as much information as possible within the shortest time frame. This is a love reading 2017, nine months, and we are talking about a female querent. So the first thing we do is see our MC1 and MC2, where they are in the spread. They're sitting in an auspicious uh, position here. We see them both looking at one another, which is a good sign for 2017 coming up. We look to their houses, MC1, MC2, and we see in MC1, false person or dishonest person. A lot of people will suddenly fall on the floor and think that this gentleman here is a dishonest guy. Doesn't mean that. It can actually mean that the uh, querent, MC2, feels that something's wrong about the situation or she's concerned that something's wrong about the situation and especially if we look at MC2 and theft it looks like she either feels like she's thieving him, stealing him from another lady perhaps or uh, that he will be stolen away from her. What we need to do to see the relationship uh, further is look at then the houses of state of marriage and convene and straight away we can see positive cards, high honours, showing uh, recognition of the relationship and state of manage, marriage and how important it is, especially to him, how important it is uh, the state of marriage and the uh, marriage state. And then over his head here, we also have in convene our state of marriage. This shows me that uh, we could be looking at a possible coming together of these two people into a stronger, if it's not a marriage, it will certainly be a very healthy relationship, especially because our state of marriage here is combining the two cards, high honours and gift. These combination here, the three here, are a great combination for a marriage proposal. So we could actually be looking at some form of proposal, or if it's not a marriage proposal, it's certainly a coming together. Despite our dishonest person sitting in his house. We, as we said, we have our lady down here at the bottom, our query, and she's at the bottom of the spread, showing that the spread is of a, not just a mental nature, but she is mentally concerned about her love life in 2017. It is all in an auspicious position, meaning that it's going to be a good year for her in 2017 and that she's in control. From day one on, she is in control of her love life, although she doesn't feel like she is. She may be somebody who doesn't think through every possible outcome in her life and her love life. We also see, if we look to the cards around our main characters, we see our uh, main character too, our querent, is concerned. We do have a uh, concern here. And in her future thoughts, we have Quotes of Crankheit, which is our short illness card. This, in a love situation, sometimes it's a sex card, but it, with it gloomy together, it could mean she's worried that there's a current down patch in the beginning of the year. And with house here sitting in prison, we could, the house of prison, we could suggest that she is feeling constrained on the situation and that she feels that it is, uh, she wants it within her control, but it looks like our MC1 is more in control of the situation than she is. We could actually suggest that our MC1, he's sitting in rich guy. We can suggest that he is currently her lover. They're not a couple just of yet. Especially with her having these thoughts that perhaps something's wrong. But he is taking on the position of our main character in the fourth month. And he is very much into this relationship with her. We could suggest that he is actually a married man and this could be why the dishonest thoughts or the dishonest feelings here. Um, he could be a married man that she is wanting to be with 
The good sign here is that he is the MC1 character coming into in the fourth month, which means he is all hers. He is definitely her partner, or will be her partner in the fourth month. Beneath him, we see some kind of, if we look at these four cards here, we're definitely looking at some kind of uh, legal situation, a legal process, or a, we could be say, seeing a divorce here. Um, and his problem is the communication here, the um, legal proceedings perhaps, is what's worrying him the most at the moment, especially with uh, seeing our sorrow behind his back here. Uh, he is concerned about this legal position or perhaps the settling of a uh, divorce. But if we look up into his thought process, we do see he is, if he's not thinking of proposing, he's certainly thinking of moving the relationship into the next step and uh, becoming firm partners. So remember we've seen where our querents are, our main characters are, we've checked the houses, we've checked the relationship, we've checked the coming together, which is all important in a relationship read. We've also looked at the cards surrounding our main characters and we've looked what houses they're in. The uh, interesting thing about our main character too is she's sitting in House of Expectation. And this shows that she has great hopes and dreams for this year in 2017 of a uh, coming together. If we, uh, the final thing in that snapshot read, if we just have a look here at the cards that are coming up directly in her future, we see this constrained feeling in uh, our prison area here. We have house sitting in the house of prison. But if we look here, we have court official. In the cast of court officials, we have good good outcome. So this situation here that he's in the middle of and also in control of, but worrying about, it will be a good outcome for our MC two. And especially as we have this. Here, the three cards here, we have uh, Great Fortune shining her light on the situation. So this court official is going to be a positive outcome for our MC2. And it's one that she's worried about for a long time because that's sat in gloomy. The uh, full read my client will get. If you just want a hint on what I'll be covering in that, we will see, see if you can see it too, comments if you like. I believe that this relationship is stemming from a work relationship, someone that she has been having a, perhaps an affair with, or she hopes for an affair with, a gentleman at work. And uh, see if you can see where that comes. Comment in the comments.